What's up, Dog Pound? Nathan Zagura, Matt Wilhelm with today's edition of the Browns Huddle. We're looking at the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 50, the granddaddy of them all. Right there in San Francisco Bay Area, Levi Stadium. It's the Carolina Panthers. It's the Denver Broncos. I think the Panthers, the best team in the NFL. They've looked dominant. They come into this game with a lot of momentum after a beatdown on Arizona. Can Denver win this game? I think they can, and, and I know that for me this game is kind of near and dear to my heart because I played with Wade Phillips uh, in, the San son of Bum. In, in San Diego, the son of Bum, and also Ron Rivera was my linebacker coach, so I have a vested interest in both sides. Torn. Um, initially, you know, after the Arizona Cardinals game, I'm like, there is no way the Panthers can be beat. But the more and more that I, you know, I dive in and, I, and you really look at what Wade Phillips and that defense, how good it really is, first of all, and their ability to execute a game plan to a T, the way they did against the New England Patriots, allows me to think that there is a chance for the Denver Broncos. So that all being said, I think a lot of this football game lies on Peyton Manning and the offense's ability to move the football. All right, let's talk about that son of bum defense for a second because you diagnosed perfectly on Browns Daily, for those who are paying attention, how they would stop Tom Brady. You've got Cam Newton, the highest scoring offense in the NFL. If you're the son of bum, how do you stop Carolina? What you do is you dive into whether a four game or an eight game breakdown of what Cam Newton struggles with. What you really want to do, and you want to force him to that spot. Is it rolling left? Is it stepping up in the pocket? Is it rolling right? Whatever that situation is, or is it bodies at his feet or forcing him back to throw off that back foot? Whatever that tendency is, Wade Phillips is going to create a game plan to force Cam Newton into those situations as much as possible. And, and it might even be he's 10% less accurate doing this thing. Sure. You'll bet on that and force him to that situation and force him to overcome something that he does not comfortable doing. Well, they got DeMarcus Ware, they've got Von Miller, the D-line's playing great, they've got a great secondary, it's the best defense in the NFL. It's kind of like the irresistible force meeting the immovable object. But I think you said, talked about Peyton Manning, that offense. I think they've got to be able to run the ball because if they do that, it's going to slow down the pass rush, take a little bit of pressure off, and that's actually where Carolina struggled. And they've got an advantage. Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders, yes, they have Josh Norman, but that other cornerback position, that's an issue for Carolina. It absolutely is. And I think, you know, offensively, Gary Kubiak putting this plan together. It, Peyton's going to want to get comfortable, you know, just taking little chunks, little chunks, little chunks, and then you take your shot down the field. I don't think this is obviously a, a quarterback anymore, Peyton Manning, that likes to throw the football down the field the way he used to. They're comfortable with that. Everyone knows that. It's just a matter of picking your spots and having that opposite corner uh, from Josh Norman just kind of like start to you know start to get settled in and thinks he's got to figure it out and they hit him with a double move or something down the field try to get that chunk play and put points on the board all right final score your prediction oh final score that's tough I'm gonna say uh, 31 20 Carolina Panthers all right, I'm gonna take the Carolina Panthers as well but I'm gonna go 27 to 24 Graham Gano is gonna be called Graham Ga yes after he makes the game-winning field goal and boots the Panthers into immortality of the rarefied air that you hold as a Super Bowl champion. Well, that'll do it for us. Matt Wilhelm, Nathan Zagura, thanks for watching the Browns. Suddenly keep it tuned to ClevelandBrowns.com and the Browns mobile app for the latest on your Browns.